Hey everyone, it's Elliot here. So funny story. A buddy of mine recently bought a secondhand iPhone and guess what? He was greeted with that annoying iPhone lock to owner message. Yeah, the dreaded iCloud activation lock. And man, was he bummed out. So in today's video, we're diving deep into some super handy tricks to get rid of that pesky lock. Best part, these methods work for iPhones, iPads, and even Apple Watches. And don't sweat it, everything we're discussing is 100% legal. Keep in mind, this info is for rightful device owners who've forgotten their login details. We don't support illegal activities or unlocking stolen devices. Always follow the law and respect others. This video follows YouTube's rules. All right, diving right into the services. You know, a close friend of mine faced the iPhone lock to owner issue a while back. We spent hours on forums and watching tutorials only to be frustrated. That's when we stumbled upon some cool solutions that turned things around for us. For starters, lock to owner stood out. It's super intuitive. And I remember my friend mentioning how user-friendly its interface was. If you're someone who loves a bit of tech and automation, the Unlock Here's AI powered unlocking web app is a game changer. It sort of felt like magic watching it do its thing. For those who lean towards the traditional side but want reliability, Safe Unlocks is a solid choice. And of course, iUnlock app has been creating some buzz lately as a reliable iCloud unlock service option. Now remember, while we're discussing these tools, it's all educational. Our aim is to provide insight into the tools available, especially for those who've legitimately forgotten their access details. It's essential to make sure you're using them responsibly. In our next segment, we'll be walking you through how the Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant operates. Trust me, it's quite an experience. It's important to note that the Unlock services are primarily functional in first world countries. If for any reason you can't access these services or prefer not to use them, we've got a special treat for our loyal viewers. We offer 250 unlocks every week for those who tune into our videos. To get in on this, here's what you need to do. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, drop a comment below mentioning your device model, for example, iPhone 8, your IMEI number, and your country. Once you've completed these steps, you're automatically entered. It's that simple. All right, let's jump into how you can utilize unlockhere.com an AI assistant powered web app. First up, pop open your browser, whether you're on your phone or computer, and head straight to unlockhere.com. Once you're there, you'll meet Nifty, the helpful AI bot. Give Nifty a little nudge by clicking on activation lock to let it know you're looking to get an iCloud unlock. Now you'll be prompted to select your device type. Most of you will probably be looking to unlock an iPhone, but don't worry, iPad and Apple Watch users, there's an option for you too. Next, you'll need to enter either your IMEI or serial number. Not sure which one to choose. Here's a quick tip. iPhones always use IMEIs. If your iPad or Apple Watch has a SIM card, slot or cellular capabilities, they'll also have an IMEI. If not, they'll just come with a serial number. Finding this might seem tricky, but it's really simple. With your lock device, just press the sleep button, hit it again, and then tap on that little eye icon on the bottom right. Voila, you've got your device info. Now you've got that, you'll need to input that here to continue. Next step, you'll be asked for some basic information. It's crucial you provide accurate details, especially your email. Once you've entered everything, there's a little box where you'll need to uh, agree to the terms. Just a friendly reminder, unlocking stolen devices, not cool. Once you've ticked that off, you need to click, I'm not a robot, and solve this quick CAPTCHA. After that, hit start process. Okay, here's an important bit. You'll get an email with a confirmation code. If you don't see it right away, give your spam or junk folder a quick look. Sometimes emails get a bit lost. Found it? Great, copy that confirmation code and head back to the Unlock Here website where you need to input that code. And oh, there's a quick, I'm not a robot check too. As soon as you've done that, tap the button to validate info and then the unlocking magic begins. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again, once it's finally unlocked. So we wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And voila. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to them later on. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the next steps and just set it all up later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. Great, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. Next up, let's dive into two straightforward ways 
to tackle that lock issue you might be facing. Firstly, you've got the option to reach out directly to Apple support. Now what they'll need from you is the original invoice of your device. Why? Well, this is their way of confirming that you're the legitimate owner. So grab that invoice, whether it's a paper copy or a digital one from your email. Once you have it, just contact Apple support, let them know about your issue and provide them with the invoice. They'll guide you through the rest. Alternatively, if you're thinking, I don't have the invoice, don't stress. There's another method you can give a whirl. Head over to Apple's official website. Look out for the reset Apple ID option. By clicking on that, you'll be able to go through steps to reset your Apple ID which can often help bypass the lock issue you're facing. Both methods are pretty straightforward, but if one doesn't work for you, definitely try the other. And of course, there are other ways to navigate this, so let's explore further. Let's chat about another potential solution, iCloud Unlock Software. This software can be a handy tool to help get past those pesky iCloud locks. But there's a catch. You'll need a Windows computer to use it. So for those without access to one, this might not be the go-to solution. Now, when it comes to finding the right software, it can be a bit like finding a needle in a haystack. There's a ton of options out there, but not all of them do the trick. And here's another heads up. Always be cautious when downloading any software. There's a risk of running into malware or other nasty surprises. If the idea of downloading software makes you a tad uneasy, you might want to consider online services like Unlock Here or Safe Unlocks. The big plus here, no downloads required. Just a simple online process to help get your device back in action. All right, diving into another method to unlock that iPhone of yours. If you're in touch with the previous owner and they're willing to help, here's a pretty straightforward way they can assist you. Think of this as the buddy system for unlocking. Ask the seller to head over to iCloud.com and have them log in with their details. Once they're in, there's a find iPhone option. They'll want to click on that. From there, they'll see a list of devices. They need to spot the one that's linked to your current issue. Now they should click on erase. This step basically gives the phone a clean slate. The last bit is crucial. They need to click on remove from account. This step ensures that the device isn't tied to their iCloud anymore. And there you have it. With their help, you're on your way to having a fully functional iPhone again. That's it for today's tutorial. We hope you got what you need. Like and subscribe for more videos like this.